Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about uh, using SEPTA to generate cloud version templates and deploy it immediately to your AWS account. So SEPTA will require you to put your files, your configuration files under config and then your template file which will be invoked by that config file under templates. So traditional uh, SEPTA config would, lo would look like this. The minimum requirement is the, the variable template path, which will look up for this file under templates directory. So that template is pointing to this file. Then this is standard cloud version template, just old plain old cloud version template, which will deploy a VPC resource and VPC side block resource. And since a VPC requires the CIDR block defined and we want to make it dynamic the standard way to do it is to pass the value for this one as parameters from cloud version template so that's the parameter for CIDR block the name of the parameter is CIDR block IPv4 you can see it's, it matches that parameter name type is string, that's description, that's default value and then yeah it uh, this resource will have that tag applied to it as you can see the tag is uh, only has one item and the value for that name tag is referring to another parameter for called this one and this one and it will also check if we need to apply we need to get AWS assign some random IP physics blocks for IPv6 block for this one by checking this parameter assigned by IPv6 this parameter will then make this condition I assign IPv6 by checking the value if it's yes or no if it's yes then yes the condition of I assign IPv6 will turn into true and then this condition will be applied for this resource called VPC CIDR block which will have IP6, IPv6 side block assigned by Amazon and the VPC ID record for this resource is referring to this one this cloud version template will also output the VPC ID and the side of block the IPv4 side of block for that VPC and also the uh, IPv6 side of block if assigned IPv6 is set to yes so let's try to deploy this uh, cloud version template using a SEPTA. The command would be SEPTA create dash y vpc one dot yaml because this one the file name is vpc one dot yaml. Okay, let's execute this. Okay, my token expired. Let's run it. Let's check the progress of that one. Yeah, it's being created. I forgot to mention that uh, this one has assigned IPv6 set to yes, so it should create IPv6 block to within that uh, VPC CIDR block. So the progress is like that. The PV VPC should be created by now. Yeah, that's the tag. And IPv6 has been assigned. Good. Progress, it's complete. Now you can see that with standard cloud formation, it's a bit tedious to create all these parameters and all these conditions. Now with SEPTA, SEPTA has built in support for Jinja 2 templates. So you can rewrite that VPC YAML cloud version template 
into the ginger to format and then you can just drop the parameter section and then uh, pass the variable like this so instead of passing that side of block as parameters you can just pass it as ginger to variable like that and then anything else can also be passed as ginger to variable so scepter requires anything that be passed to that will be passed to the ginger to template to be passed under a variable called scepter user data then these ginger to template will have access to that variable so let's have a look for the config this is the config that will invoke this vpc yaml j2 you can see here the template part is vc.yaml.j2 now this is the scepter user data and anything under this will be accessible from ginger, the ginger to template so the cider block is that one assign ipv6 is set to true because this is a boolean value not a string yes or no and i'm going to add not just the name tag but i'm going to add the source url and environment tag so the tags will be automatically populated by this code it will loop through all the tags by each utilizing items and then expand that as key value pair and then it will print the key value like that that condition is also translated using this so if this variable will be uh, will be true or false will be true the variable is it is true and then this will be printed out this section will be printed out uh, vpc id is still the same is pointing to the vpc resource and then output is still the same and that oh yeah output uh, similar with that resource the condition line has been replaced with this if block ginger2 now let's have a look at the creation of vpc2 yaml let's check the progress yeah vpc2 is uh, the set the vpc2 is being created that's the second vpc it also has ipv6 assigned to it and this one has more text dynamically so in order to add more text you can just add more lines here like dummy tag ignore me and you can update it let's check the progress Yeah, it's updating the PPC. Now we should have that tag, that additional tag applied to scepter demo two. Tags, dummy tag, ignore me. Yeah, it's there. So details are like that. See here, that's the. They have different side of block, which is good. This one was passed as parameter. This one was passed in the ginger template which works and then as a bonus this one has the source url of where this code was uh, the this the custom template for this resource was stored so in case you're wondering where did i put that where are uh, the custom template that i used to deploy this thing you can just check back to this source url And as a bonus, I also created the tag for the cloud function for security group. So this is totally dynamic based on the security group specification in the cloud permission. It has so many ifs, ifs, is and for, but basically 
what I'm trying to create is a security group that only allows inbound access and outbound access to itself so uh, it's not by default if you create a security group it will allow everything to go in and go out this one is uh, allowing only incoming source from itself and to allow outbound access to itself again so let's try to deploy this thing Oh, it's not update. It's create. Oh, it's created already. Very quick. Let's check the output. Yeah. So this is the one that was created through uh, by SEPTA. That's the name that was defined in here as a tag. Security gr group name was uh, uh, randomly created by AWS. EPC ID is, uh, is also created randomly by AWS. And then the inbound rule looks like this. Uh, Did it fail? Oh, there you go. I just need to refresh it. So the inbound rule. Yeah, the source. This is the IPv6 version of lo localhost. This is the IPv4 version of localhost. So it's only allowing access from itself. And the outbound rules is only allowing access to itself and in IPv6 and also to itself in IPv4. Tags, just like uh, the VPC, we can dynamically, dynamically add more tags. See, hey, this one also has source repo URL and the name. And to destroy the SEPTA, sorry, the call permission, we can execute scepter delete dash y and pick the bottom of the cloud version stack so vpc is the bottom source of the stack and you're going to build a security group on top of vpc because security group requires the vpc this time if you want to de uh, delete everything at once you can just delete the vpc instead of uh, deleting the security group first and then deleting this vpc so let's delete vpc to yaml because that security group requ um, depends on VPC to YAML. See that it's going to delete SG and VPC2. And as we watch the progress, yeah, SG has been deleted. VPC2 is also being deleted. And since VPC2 and VPC1 are separated, they are independent of each other. It's not going to automatically delete VPC1. Security group has been deleted. Septa demo 2 is gone. So, yeah, that's how you delete. Uh, cloud version stack that matched by SEPTA. Thank you for watching. I'll post. Uh, you could. F I'll post the link to for this repo on the description. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it.